guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have just sat down and talked to the camera, but I wanted to come to you from out here in my family's garage. If you haven't already seen the first part of this video series of me transforming my family's garage into essentially a tiny home, then I highly suggest you watch that part because it'll show you from where we started up to almost where we're at now. So in this part, we are gonna be jumping right off from where we left off last time. I'll insert a little clip here. This is what it looked like when I left you off in that first video. And we're just gonna start from here and I'm gonna walk you through what we've done so far. with is a kind of do-it-yourself product that you can buy off of Amazon. It is specifically for like garage floors or something where you need like a hardier floor. We went with the color mocha and I will leave the product linked down below. So after the floor was dry and cured, we were able to start bringing stuff back in. So we started with the big things that were already out here, the freezer, the refrigerator. Um, we have this little white storage cabinet that houses like household cleaning supplies. Um, and then it was time for us to start actually moving some larger pieces that we already had into this space. So I am going to be testing my first paint sample for the trim color. Um, the door and the stairs are all going to be painted the same color, so it's got to be a good color. So the first sample I have is a bare color and it is the color Bonsai Pot. It does look really close to the floor color, which we hadn't picked the floor color until I picked the paint sample first because we weren't sure what we were doing with the floor. So hopefully it's not too close. So it looks nice. It does look very close to the floor color. These stairs have already been primed. It is such a pretty color. It's definitely more green than the floor. I like it. I'm gonna try it in some other areas to see the contrast right next to the floor. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I decided to run out and pick up another paint sample. And it is definitely on the other end of the first paint sample that we tried right here. I just think it was too close to the floor color. So I ran out and tested a black. It has some green undertones, which I think will complement our floor nicely because our floor is almost like this exact color. And I have tested it against the floor. I also had some spare gray paint that I tested and I don't like the gray. It's a little too purpley out here. So this is the black color again. And I think it's gonna look really nice on the doors and the trim and the stairs. So that's what we're going with. That's <laughs> gonna be the color and I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll work out here. 
So this is what the first coat of paint is looking like on the door and the trim. I haven't done the top part because I can't reach that part and I'm going to have to figure out how to put a ladder over here safely. So I'm just skipping that part for now. I like the way the gold doorknob looks with it and we need to get new doorknobs out here. So I think I am going to go with gold because I really like the way that looks. But now that I have paint on the door and the trim, I am second guessing painting the stairs the same color. I feel like it's just going to look like a big black blob over here if I paint the stairs the same color. So I had a thought since I really, really liked the first paint color that we tried. I like fell in love with that color. It was like the perfect color. It just so happened to be <laughs> so close to the floor. But I think that could work for the stairs because technically the stairs is like part of the floor. You walk on it. So I think I'm going to paint the stairs the bonsai pot color and the door and the trim all black. And I think it will complement nicely because as you can see with the paint sample color, like it looks nice close to the black. So I have finished painting the second door and it has three coats of paint. I did suspect that it was going to take three coats. Um, this took like two weeks to finish because I was also painting the trim and the other door and I just didn't really feel like filming the entire process for you guys because it was literally me doing the same exact thing. painting sanding, wiping off the door, painting again, waiting for it to dry, sanding it, wiping off the door, and then painting it again. It was basically that same process on everything. So it took a while, but I really like the way it looks. I have some touch-up spots around the door handle, but we're getting new ones anyway, so I'm just going to wait to touch that up um, until we get the new door handles. So... I really like the way it looks. Obviously, there's no trim around this door. We still have to put the trim up. Um, and speaking of the trim, I also got the trim painted. It's all nice and black. I think it's going to make a statement in here without taking away from the brightness. So I think it still looks pretty nice and bright out here so after the trim was all painted and put up this is the current state of the garage mm -hmm. 